Hi friends, welcome back to MULE 4 series of learning videos. I am Shivatan Kamani, an Integration Technical Architect. There is a most important topic uh, in which I have never published any video so far. So I'm not sure how uh, this topic is missed out. So we are going to see how to create a custom application alert uh, uh, in Cloud Hub. So which is in turn in uh, MuleSoft that's applicable for any API. So uh, in one single API or group of API where there is an error, you can create a custom application alert and which is very important uh, because uh, uh, you don't know when there are uh, hundreds of APIs uh, that are up and running. Uh, when they are running, there could be error in uh, one or more APIs, uh, uh, particularly uh, when this error happens in the critical APIs, uh, when we, when we fail to monitor it uh, proactively and then uh, correct it at the uh, appropriate time, we will lose uh, precious orders or uh, we will lose some information or we will lose some revenue if we don't uh, uh, fix it and then process orders. So uh, imagine if the order is a million dollar order and then while processing it, it errored out and nobody looked into it and then that order is got cancelled and then the customer goes to uh, some other vendor and buys that. But it's very rare to lose $1 million order. But anyways, I am I mean, uh, even if it is thousand order or hundred dollar order, it's very important to us because we don't want to miss the customers. So we are going to take an use case where uh, um, we receive an order and then we try to process the order and insert it into the database. And uh, while inserting it, we are going to simulate some error in such a way that the order doesn't get inserted into the database. So in such situation, uh, order has some errors or it failed out due to uh, database communication error and it failed out. So what we are going to do is we are going to capture that error and we are going to raise uh, custom application alert uh, in the API via a Cloud Hub feature called uh, Cloud Hub Alert. So that will help us to capture the particular keyword that we are uh, erroring out or that happens due to error. With the help of that keyword, we are going to create an email alert, uh, which will send uh, eventually an email to the uh, ops team. So ops team member can uh, take a look at this email. So when the email pops up immediately, you can jump into the uh, corresponding application and then dig down into the logs and you can dig down into the database or somewhere else, wherever appropriate. You can capture that error, find out and uh, deal with that error. So let's get started into the demo. So uh, here is the Mule API, which I have created to receive order and process it. And uh, this is a skeleton created out of RAML and uh, automatically uh, all the necessary uh, flow steps are created. And uh, we have introduced this uh, uh, transformation that says uh, success message. And uh, the application is up and running. Let's test this. Uh, here is a message success and the RAML gets client ID and secret. So it has all the infrastructures and uh, a skeleton framework ready. So now uh, we are going to insert the incoming order into the database. So uh, I have created a database uh, called uh, uh, orders. So when you select it, uh, you have order ID, order date and customer ID. So order, daily, order date is defaulted with the current date. So you can leave it. You can simply insert uh, order ID and customer ID. So we are we are just going to insert some uh, 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 data that's coming from the database. So we are going to have, uh, uh, say, uh, order ID, say one, two, three, and uh, customer ID say one two three so this is a payload that we are going to send and uh, with the help of this order ID and customer ID we are going to insert it into this uh, orders uh, database table so let's do that now so first let's create a, a database uh, insert and by inserting uh, we have to create a, a configuration let's create it now Let's create MySQL connection and let's configure and add Maven dependency. So we'll have localhost 3306 
user is root and the password is root and database is employee. Let's test the connection. So what we are going to do is uh, once we create it successfully, uh, uh, we are going to bring down the database to simulate error. And uh, once the error happens, uh, we will see how to create an alert. Uh, so the advantage of uh, creating this alert is uh, uh, the ops team doesn't need to uh, go to different APIs, go to the logs and then manually see all the errors. But rather uh, they, can, uh, uh, they can focus on some other uh, constructive activities and uh, they can just take a look at the email and then if there is any email with the red alert, uh, in Outlook, you can configure the email with some specific word, say error, or that's coming from MuleSoft. You can show it in red. So you can uh, you can customize the email in such a way that it gets your attention quickly, and then uh, you can only after the error happens, you can jump into the MuleSoft API, dig through logs, and then correct it. So there are a lot of advantages. So I, we have uh, I've done it. So now let's insert uh, the order. Let's say insert into orders. Let's say order ID. And we are going to insert order ID and customer ID only. Because date is defaulted to current timestamp. And say values uh, colon OID comma CID. So let's insert this values. Let's directly insert it from the payload. Let's not store it into variable and let's make it simple. So colon uh, OID colon payload dot uh, order ID comma CID parameter will be having payload dot uh, uh, customer ID. So that's it. So we can make it simple and then we, so that we can focus on uh, the topic to add a uh, custom application alert. Saved it. Uh, let me restart the application now. So while it's starting, uh, let's take a look at uh, the use case uh, once again. So we are going to have an application that sends uh, order details like order ID and customer ID. And MuleSoft API attempts to uh, insert that incoming record into the database. And when the database is uh, uh, resulted in failure, we are going to uh, raise a custom application alert in such a way that uh, the alert email uh, sends is sent to the uh, particular email or particular email group. Um, and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to select the text that appears on the email uh, uh, very carefully so that uh, this custom application alert can be used commonly across uh, uh, multiple APIs so that you don't need to devise this mechanism for uh, different APIs in a different way. So that's the advantage of this. So it's deployed. Let's uh, run this now. So the, um, uh, the payload is received and we are going to see whether it's inserted into the database. It's not. So we have some error. Let's see what the error is. So we have order, it should be orders. Let's save it. It's restarted now. Let's try this. So now we got success message. I think uh, it went smoothly. Let's try this. So yeah. So we have order ID 123 and customer ID 123 and order date is defaulted to the current timestamp. So all is well. So now what we are going to do is to insert a, a custom application alert. So for that, uh, uh, first we need to get the uh, Cloud Hub connector available in our uh, API. So for that, uh, you need to click on this search in exchange and then uh, type uh, Cloud Hub and wait for some time and you would see Cloud Hub connector there. So which you need to add it uh, as a dependency and then before you start using it because it's not available by default. So let's add it and let's say finish. So now you see uh, uh, different uh, components that are related to notification is done. 
so you can make use of it this is what uh, we are going to make use of uh, like uh, create notification so now we are going to have uh, um, error handling so on error uh, we are going to say on error continue we'll put it here so on the error section because uh, when whenever the database uh, resulted in failure it will come here it would mean that we need to uh, raise an alert so let's uh, go for uh, uh, cloud hub connector let's choose create notification and now uh, you need to enter some basic configuration uh, based on uh, uh, your cloud hub application credentials so let's do that so now what we are going to do is we are going to create a, a connector and the username is uh, so this is my password and uh, let's uh, choose the environment environment there should be a, a sandbox environment available because it's resolving the values and then it's trying to connect uh, yeah now we got a design and sandbox which means uh, the credentials are evaluated and then the corresponding environment is uh, retrieved since i have used a registration account uh, you only have two uh, environments so let's choose a sandbox and then say test connection it should be successful so which means that you have you have uh, properly created a, a cloud hub connector and, uh, and now what we are going to do is you are going to uh, select a message something meaningfully so that you can uh, you can capture it so let's say error occurred order uh, creation failed so uh, you can use this common word uh, error occurred and if it happens you can uh, raise a notification or you can even uh, capture the whole text so this error message is important based on which we are going to create uh, alert in the cloud hub so this is only one part of the configuration that we have done let's save it so now we have created a um, alert with a particular uh, uh, cloud hub uh, credentials but you should not use this uh, credential that are meant for uh, uh, people but you need to create a system credential and then you can use it across uh, multiple MuleSoft APIs so uh, let's uh, uh, rerun this application because we have created a new connector so let's run the application so now we are going to test uh, uh, during the error scenarios whether uh, the cloud hub notification is happening or not so for that we are going to bring down the uh, database so this must result in an error uh, in our api and we should not get success now so it's taking some time don't uh, worry about this error message because we haven't given the uh, uh, error message set payload but let's see what the error is we have a db connectivity error and uh, it should have gone into this uh, error handling and then it should have sent uh, notification so it's working as expected because we haven't seen anything related to the notifications so now what we are going to do is uh, we have completed one part of this alert creation and then we need to go uh, log in our uh, uh, any point uh, platform and uh, let's go to the runtime manager and there you see uh, a tab called uh, alerts you can click here and you need to have a um, um, administrator option to create this alert if you are registering yourself you need to go to the uh, permission and then give uh, the necessary permission to make this uh, available otherwise you won't see this alert uh, this plus symbol so note that and we are we are going to have uh, uh, order uh, failure alert and uh, severity level we will say uh, critical and uh, source i mean we are going to choose application and we are going to choose uh, uh, cloud hub application 
we need to choose uh, all application because wherever this error happens uh, you need to throw this uh, error uh, that's the reason why we need to choose this uh, error text uh, appropriately so that you can use it across all APIs and the select condition uh, we will say custom application notification and priority uh, we will say uh, any the contains we need to take it from here and we will use this uh, um, error as such we can use this uh, message or we can choose uh, uh, error occurred I think that will be the best and you can leave the other subject message and everything you can uh, uh, leave it so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, my email so I have created this email for uh, temporary purpose so I'm using this I'm sorry on pressing enter you will see uh, you will see this uh, email and then you can uh, click uh, submit and you are successfully you have created an alert so what happens is uh, during the runtime whenever uh, this error happens with this particular uh, text uh, it will automatically capture and then it will uh, raise an alert and then uh, send an email to the group whichever we have mentioned so uh, let's uh, now deploy this application into the cloud hub so what i'm going to do is i'm going to deploy it uh, so let me pause the video because it's going to take some time I'm going to export it as jar file and then uh, deploy it so I let me pause the video and come back so now the application has been uh, deployed into cloud hub successfully you can see here it's uh, exported as experience order creation API and it's up and running <clears throat> so what we are going to do is so we are going to use this uh, application uh, host name this is the one that we are going to use and we are going to create the same scenario because uh, uh, the database that we are trying to connect to is in my local host database and obviously it won't be available to reach uh, from the public cloud hub because it's running only in my local so anyways it's going to result in error and then let's see if uh, during this error the alert has been successfully creating or not so let's uh, try to execute this and it's taking some time and uh, don't worry about this this is the previous result and let's um, so we have uh, run it once let's go to the log and you can see here it's not uh, uh, able to reach a local host employee database because it's running in my local of course it won't succeed and it resulted in DB connectivity failure and you can see here at the top uh, there is a uh, bell icon that uh, glows in red which means that uh, our alert message has uh, worked out successfully let's click that and we have 100 in all applications let's choose all and you can see here uh, there is a notification that says uh, error occurred uh, and order creation failed so by now you can do this do two type of things one you can come here and then look for alerts for any alien failures it's a single point of failure or as configured you should check your email and see if you have successfully received your email so once you are done with the email configuration and you will receive email uh, something like this so you will have any point platform alert notification and you will have uh, the necessary message content as you have configured in your email alert and then you will get the appropriate error messages since I have not received this email from the trial account I am showing it uh, so for example and that brings the end of this video I hope you liked it and enjoyed it and if you felt it's useful uh, please hit thumbs up button and subscribe my videos soon I will come up with more interesting and useful topics thanks again for watching my video bye